Hello, Eva here with Eva Levay Arts, and today I'm going to be playing with some polymer clay. I received something in the mail today from Tiny Pandora. For those of you that are familiar with polymer clay, you'll know about her wonderful tutorials here on YouTube and the products that she sells for polymer clay. I ordered some square pears and the cane benders. So those came in the mail today. I'm really excited to get to play with those. Um, and I just thought it was so sweet. She includes a little freebie in her order and she sent these cute little charms. There's a dragonfly charm and a little cute charm. Aren't those cute? I'm not sure if you can see them. Maybe I'll take them out of the bag. Oh, of course. Here comes my little one. Yeah, go with daddy. <laughs> okay, so there's what you sent. Isn't that cute? Love those. So, actually what I'm going to be doing is, uh, based on a tutorial I saw on Gail Thompson's channel, and I'll put a link to the video in the iCards, and uh, it's a Moku Moigani cane. I guess she says it's not really a cane, but it's really cool. And so I'm going to try it. And basically what you do is pick a light color, a dark color, and two medium colors. So I did a black, white, and then some pomegranate and turquoise. And she also used some gold foil. And so I'm going to go ahead and attempt to do this gold leafing. And we'll see how this works. I'm, I'm new with this uh, foiling stuff. So, I'm just gonna try to put it on the black. Okay, so now that I have that on there, I'm going to sandwich it in between the black and the turquoise, and then I'm going to run this through the machine. And by machine, I mean the pasta machine, of course. Okay, then I'm going to take my red and white and run those through the pasta machine. Then I'm going to put the black, or should I, should I put the red? black and white next to each other? I think so. So I've got all four now. And I'm going to run these through the pasta machine. Okay, maybe I'm going a little too thin on this. <laughs> I'm supposed to be going through the thickest setting and I have it like on three. So let's see if I can back it up to at least a two. Let me, um, not sure that it matters. I'm just going to be stacking these. So let me cut this maybe here and here. Stack them on top like that. Maybe I'll do another one. This one, the red's not going all the way to the edge. 
Maybe I can just fold this one like this and do something with it. Do something like that. I don't know. And then this one. Should I? Maybe this way. And then I'll put that through the thickest setting. Okay. missing there. I'm not even sure if that makes a big difference, but I'm going to cut it in half, stack it again, then I'm going to cut it this way in half. Stack it. And now's where the exciting part happens. I'm going to cut this away so that they're even all along all four sides. Now I need to decorate it. And what am I gonna use? I hadn't gotten to this part yet, but I think I'm going to use these little blades, wavy blades that I got. And I'll use the straight blade. And where's the pokey tool? These tools. done something with this. Let's see. Maybe I can do that and put in some filler. Maybe I should work on this. Well, let me do a couple more. Push this in there. Maybe another one over here. Whoa, it's really gonna warp it. And we'll just push it back together, whatever we distort.